Hello everybody, this will be an update to the old Hulk install elemental farm outside of Sardelic Sanitarium in Old Ascalon for farming granite and charcoal. Um, there has been an update to the Derby skills, well, it's been a while actually, and someone just messaged me the other day that the build was, the damage had reduced significantly, so um, I just came up with a new build to kind of make the farm go a little bit easier. So the new build will have some of the old skills, but well, I will substitute a couple of skills to make it faster. So you'll still have Reaper Sweep as Elite, and the majority of the damage will come from Reap Impurities, as it will activate the Cripple Condition caused by Reaper Sweep. And the third skill I just picked up for Farmer Scythe, because it's a instantly recharging skill that you can just spam. The fourth skill will be Way of Perfection, to give you a little bit of health when you crit. And the fifth skill will be Shroud of Distress to help you block most of the attacks and help you stay alive. And number six skill is Mental Block. I haven't tried it without Mental Block, but I think you might be able to pull it off without Mental Block as well. It's not unnecessary. I mean, if you constantly hit him, you'll gain enough energy that you won't need Mental Block. But it just makes it the balling during the uh, during the balling phase a little bit easier. And then number seven skill is Way of the master it will ensure that you crit more often and it will give you more health from way of perfection as it will crit more often and the last skill will be drunken master that would that is, this is just to speed up the farm you can also take an item unstoppable for the elite boss but uh, i usually avoid the elementalist boss when i aggro him uh, as you're now farming elite tomes i mean you can use different easier builds to farm elite tomes so just uh, and you also need a zealous scythe of enchanting uh, with damage while enchanted. More well, done it. This will help ensure that you do the most damage and help make make your enchant last longer. So once you zone, just go ahead and check for uh, the growls. Sometimes there's a, in some of the spawns the growls that are over here. They spawn over here as well. So you just want to ensure that they are not there. Because so if that happens, just rezone. It's not much of, much of a problem. So go ahead. Sometimes there are elementalist boss over here. If he spawns, I don't aggro him because he makes damage dealing abilities uh, nerf because he uses blindness and block, which makes it quite difficult. So the warrior boss you can kill. Just aggro him, use shroud, mental block, and you can also pop in drunken master to give you some extra movement speed. So go ahead and aggro all of them and then run back towards a wall and make sure that they have a wall to their left and your right. It makes them clutch so just select the boss and start attacking him and just use skills 1, 2 and 3. That's all you have to do. It's just that easy. Just keep on spamming your abilities until they go down. You can have I mean, different varied success in the, with this build. Uh, I've gotten a lot of granite and um, charcoal as well, which you can use to make Delrim of Steel. You know, you can also sell it to other people. Delrim of Steel. You can go and craft it at one of the crafting collectors. So just go ahead, spam your skills. It's very easy. You can just you have to just go through your chain. And once that group is dead, you can make your way around to kill all the other groups. So basically just use the same procedure. Shroud and mental block. So over here when you aggro them, um, if the other two groups are too far in, I just don't go for them. Because it makes a couple of the healers pop up. And they are very difficult to deal with, so you just have to run away if they pop up. I mean, if they're close enough, just use a longbow to pull them out. And you can, like, walk backwards. Any longbow will do. You just, you can even get, like, one of those blue ones that drop randomly. So yeah, once again, ball them up. Make sure they have a wall to their left. And just use one, two, three. So I think this build is even easier. And if Shroud goes down, make sure you recharge it. Otherwise, your 
health will go down very fast. See the granite drops over there. Granite is basically what well, people use to make destroyer weapons. And uh, yeah, they're actually destroyer weapons are quite expensive these days because diamonds are like 7k, which is crazy. Like a, little, a couple of weeks ago, they were going for like one for one for Ectos, and I thought that was just <laughs> crazy. I don't know why it's so expensive. So this is the second big pull that you're gonna have to do. You can do it in smaller chunks to make sure you incorporate as many as you want. I will not aggro the elementalist boss over there because he's just a pain to kill. Like you can aggro these ones and these ones separately from the big group. Because like if you go far enough some of them start breaking off. So what you can do is just aggro them and go back and get the groups that do break off. And try to like keep moving during this phase because if you stop they'll get like a lot of attacks and and take your health down quite fast. So just start attacking. Don't stop attacking. This is like really, really risky. Shouldn't have done this. Keep a shroud. Keep a shroud. That was very close. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it this much at the same time. <laughs> Alright, just go to work on them. Yeah, aggroing that many at the same time was probably a mistake. So, let's do smaller walls. I mean, it's manageable, but I'd rather not take the risk. So yeah, you got 10 more granite. And now there's like one or two laggers here and there, but I wouldn't waste time trying to kill like one or two of them. That voice you heard over there was this other game I played, League of Legends. And uh, so now nothing messaging me in that game. I'll just check it out later. I might put up some gameplay of that actually in a little bit. Alright, this is the elementalist boss. You see him use eruption which causes blind. Oh damn, I aggroed one of the sh flash gargoyles. No! Okay, he's using ability, just walk side to side, dodge. I think he should be breaking aggro soon. Okay, if you aggro one of those guys, just run out. I shouldn't even have aggro him, but whatever. So yeah, this is the last ball. You can get like a few hulking stills over here as well. But yeah, if there is shadow gar gargoyle and flash gargoyle, just avoid them. Oh, I aggroed him again. So not following my own advice. <laughs> so yeah, once you aggro all of them, just take him right next to a tree. Yeah. And just, yeah, make sure they have a wall to their left. And just start attacking them. And they should go down very easily. Two, three, one, two, three. That's why I like assassin builds. They're like pretty much a person way. Okay, so that will be the end of the run. So I'll just show the way. I just go over here. Get the one first big group, second big group, and then come around for the last group. And uh, you should have enough granite and charcoal to make your destroyer weapons. Hope you enjoyed the guide. Thank you.